Perseus was born to Zeus and Danae. Danae was the daughter of King Acrisius. When Perseus was born, King Acrisius feared that Perseus would one day grow up and kill him. So he cast Danae and Perseus into the sea in a wooden chest. The chest finally came ashore on the island of Sephiros, where a fisherman found them and took them in. The fisherman was the brother of King Polydectes, who was a malicious king. Perseus would grow into a strong young man with great powers and intelligence. King Polydectes had fallen in love with Danae and made her his slave. Perseus wanted to protect his mother at all costs and offered to go on a quest for the king if he would release his mother. Perseus is ordered by King Polydectes to bring back the head of Medusa. Let's think about the hero. Well, obviously we've already met Odysseus, so we want to write him down, no doubt. Epic heroes, mythic heroes, are always defined by their struggles. I would write that down. Perseus is a classic example of this. You have a picture of Medusa. What makes her horrifying is not just that she has these snakes for hair, but she also has the power to turn you into stone as she looks at you. So you got a major monster here. What is the biggest thing you've had to overcome? What is the Medusa in your life? The hero can only accomplish greatness through the help of the gods. The gods have to be on your side to help you out. Ask him to defeat the giants in your life because our God is a giant killer. He said you will walk through the fire and the fire will not burn you. You will walk through the water and the water will not drown you. Ask him. He's the God who cannot fail. He's waiting to show you great and mighty things. Wants you to have that power. The goddess Athena had cursed the mortal Medusa with a hideous face and snakes for hair. Medusa was confined to a cave and anyone who made eye contact with her would be turned to stone. The gods all gave different gifts to Perseus to help him on his quest. Zeus gave him an adamantine sword, which was of the highest strength. Hades gave him a helmet, which would make him invisible. Hermes lent Perseus a winged sandals to fly, and Athena gave him a polished shield. Perseus then proceeded to the Gorgon's cave. Perseus finds Medusa asleep and makes sure not to wake her. He walks backward, holding up his shield to get a clear view of where she is. As Perseus crept closer, wielded the sword that Zeus had given him, the head of the monster. Perseus threw Medusa's head into his satchel and journeyed home.
just superhero.